Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It is the first day of the late muzzleloader season here at home. I've got a tag, but I'm not planning to go out hunting this afternoon. I'm just cruising around in my truck right now. I'm scouting a few different areas. It's supposed, it's like 34 right now is what the thermometer says. This is as warm as it's gonna be for the next five days. It's gonna get steadily colder every single day. And I think on Friday, it's a high of zero with like 20 mile an hour winds. I don't, I mean, that's gonna be the coldest I've ever hunted if we make it to Friday, but hopefully we get a crack at something before then. Ted's almost back from Indiana right now. I'm hopefully gonna spot some deer here this evening and then make a plan for tomorrow. There's deer across, oh, big buck, big buck. Way out, out in the middle. On the far side, going to the right. I don't know how big he is, but uh, looks pretty big. Pretty big, I think. Shit. And you can see their racks from here. Yep. I don't know if that guy bumped them or if they're just moving. We just saw a bunch of those deer from that high spot back here behind us. We basically watched them until they slowed down. We couldn't see them bed because they went up into a bunch of thick stuff in the middle of that bottom, but we marked them on INX. And that guy was still down there below us, so we couldn't go down there after him. But from where he was at, down the hill, I doubt he was able to see those deer. Me and Ted are gonna go check out some other stuff here mid-morning. Just let him hunt for the rest of the morning in there whenever he leaves later on. We're gonna try to slide in there and put a camera or two up, scout around, or maybe find a potential setup for this evening. It's coming right to us. That's a good sign. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One just ran right through the road right there. Yeah, <laughs> right over that first lip. Let's go. something yeah we're definitely in the middle of a drive let's go back to the truck all right I thought we pulled up and we saw a deer running around so we're like well somebody may be walking around down here as soon as we got out of the truck we could hear somebody shooting back this way and then as we walk down here there's a hunter right out here in front of us sitting there in orange back to the drawing board in the afternoon we just put up a trail camera in this spot where we saw these bucks this morning that guy eventually left 
because me and Ted saw him walking down the side of the road up there. The first thing Ted said was, he's done. <laughs> <laughs> he looked pretty tired. Pretty discouraged he after his pretty, walk. Yeah, he looked pretty discouraged and cold, so. We went to town, got something to eat, got Ted another Barclava face mask to stay warm. And we came back out, and I'll show you right here behind Ted. I don't know if you can see it with the camera. Me and Ted were way up on that hill this morning, up in that orange colored grass. And we were watching this bottom. And that guy was down here in this bottom. And as you can tell, you can't see very dang far down here. It's really thick. So I don't think he saw those bucks. I'm almost positive he didn't. Otherwise, he might have been acting a little different this morning. Yeah. But every time I looked down there at him, he was just kind of sitting there looking around like he didn't see him. And he wasn't here when we got back to the parking lot a minute ago. So me and Ted are diving in. I dropped a pin on on X about 250, 300 yards from us out here next to some of these cedar trees in the last place where we saw those bucks. I'm just going to make a beeline for that pin, try to make a setup out here somewhere. We got the sticks, the saddle gear and stuff. We may only try to get a couple feet off the ground, but that may be just enough for us to get a shot through some of this brush. This is this is the equalizer here. Mm. You ain't gotta worry about deflecting arrows through grass with this old boy. Nope, it gives me a lot more confidence. Big buck, big buck, big buck. Gosh dang it. It's a freaking tank. Yeah. Real big one. Oh man, I don't know. Did you get anything of him as he was running off? I think I probably did. But maybe not much. Oh. Just out here in the middle. I ain't surprised. I mean, this is prime. We're in the middle of the bedding area. Jumped up about 10 yards from the hobby. I mean, he was right there like a rabbit out of a brush pile. Yeah, I mean, the only way we could have avoided that was sitting up back there on the path almost. Yeah, we probably would have killed him if we'd have done that. That's not one of the bucks we saw this morning. No. Crap. Massive buck. Yeah. That was a big, big buck. That was definitely not one that we saw this morning. No. Looks Amish. It could get a little wild if it is. Get angered in here. We got a guy behind us. He's acting like he's standing for a drive. We just bumped into a big buck as we're trying to get out here and get set up. Big buck ran that way towards the other bucks that we saw this morning, or, or where the last place we saw them. So we're just going to jet up here and get set up. We're about to be in the middle of a war zone out here, I think. Luckily it's muzz season, so they can't have some rifle that they're blasting off out here. <laughs> I'm talking to the camera. War, come on. Oh, I believe it. <laughs>
gas, I guess. I put it in the V of the tree like that. It's not ideal. Never usually is. <laughs> right, well, it's been a bit of a crazy afternoon here. We got in, bumped that big buck, and we were trying to look for a place to set up. And Ted turns around and says, there's a guy in orange coming in behind us. And we look up and here comes the Amish Mafia. There's two or three guys behind us. They all looked down here and saw us and then they just kept walking right at us. They don't care. They just go for it, boy. So me and Ted picked the most naked tree we could and got as high as we could out here so that we're visible and any of them can see us. But they're pushing from that way. I'm sure they got more guys over here that are pushing as well. As long as everything is safe, they may stir some deer up and push them by us. But if things start feeling pretty dangerous in here, we're gonna get the heck out. That's the one good thing about muzzleloaders is they only got one chance. In shotgun season, they could just bo, bo, bo. They just keep slaking. straight over here behind me. If those deer, here they come, they're coming across to him. Jiminy Christmas, don't shoot. I'm right here. He's pointing that gun right at me. Jeez.
got about 30 minutes of light left. We just had a doe come right past the tree here, maybe 35, 40 yards away. And then right after she came through, we looked up and a small buck was cutting across here in front of us, about 200 out. Those two bigger bucks that we saw go back into this thick stuff this morning. I think we're with that small buck, so. Got about 30 minutes of light left here. Hopefully one of them pops out. I'm filming off my phone because this GoPro back here is just about dead. They don't do very good in the cold. <laughs> Front one's decent. Nah, probably not shooter. Didn't do an interview in the tree to close out the night because we were freezing and we were like, to heck with this, we gotta get out of here. So we climbed down as quick as we could and got back up here to the truck, ended up seeing a bunch of deer. Had a pretty good day, actually. I mean, we saw, had quite a bit of action today. Just got a little hairy this evening with all those other hunters coming in and doing some pushes, but we only heard one shot all night. So they must not have got many opportunities. We ended up seeing uh, I think three bucks and, and a pile of does and fawns and I had some deer come right underneath us. But it's interesting to watch them come by us in that tree and they could not see us up there. I don't know how because that tree was naked. I mean there was no leaves on it, no nothing. There was two dudes dressed like the Michelin man hanging off of that thing at eight yard or yeah eight feet up in the air. So anyway they didn't see us up there. I mean that one doe got a little bit nervous but she was eight yards in front of us. Learned a lot about that spot. Got a camera in there. Hopefully, we learn something and we can come back in here in the next couple of days and get back home. Let's go get something to eat. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Definitely a buck. And he's close enough to shoot. Right there in the brush. He hasn't moved. There he's got his head up. There's tail. He's moving left. 